Now, News Channel 11 Sports Director Kenny Hawkins. After one season, Jason Shea is out as head basketball coach of the ETSU Buccaneers. This afternoon, school athletic director Scott Carter announced Shea had resigned his position. As News Channel 11 Sports Michael Epps reports, the announcement has been met with shock and surprise from several former players. It probably still hasn't hit everybody as deep yet. It was probably just like a shock. A shocking afternoon in Johnson City. He was like, don't feel bad, but I'm resigning. And then like, it was, it was just quiet. ETSU head men's basketball coach Jason Shea called the team in for a 3.30 meeting and delivered the news. And then we were all like just dumbfounded and lost. Um, but he was just like, he feels like it's better for his family. And I mean, that was like pretty much, pretty much all he said. But I mean, players know and we know what's going on. In a statement, Shea called this past year, quote, extremely challenging for me in many different ways. Among them, the public's and the university's response to Shea and his team kneeling for the national anthem this season. Senior Bucks player Jordan Coffin hopes this wasn't involved. I know this is more than basketball and this, uh, it's a business, but I mean, there's also a side where like, I mean, it's about family too. I mean, ETSU should be I mean, one one big family. I mean, we say it all the time, family on three. Former Buccaneer Trey Boyd feels the same. Shea was an assistant when Boyd played here in 2019 and 2020. When it comes to basketball, Shea was the man. And for him standing up uh, for what he stood up for, that just shows he's a man of integrity as well. Either way, the Bucks will search for their third head coach in the last three seasons. Now you have to go find another guy to try to reach that standard that we put on East Tennessee State basketball. In Johnson City, Michael Epps, News Channel 11 Sports.